let's talk about forging temperature and color. Uh, this is very important. So what you don't want to do is beat on metal that has become too cold. You're going to work against yourself. You're going to put stress on the metal, stress on your anvil, stress on your body so your shoulders are going to give out sooner. Uh, you want to make sure that metal is nice and hot. So from our talk about gas forges versus coal forges, we know that both of them can get very high temperatures. Uh, the nice thing about gas is that it will maintain a nice high uh, forging temperature for a good long time and you don't have to worry so much about those fluctuations. So what do we look for in terms of color and what does that mean in terms of temperature? What we're looking for in color before we start forging, as soon as we pull that out and we're going to talk about uh, mild steel as our example, we want a nice bright yellow orange color and I'll, I'll put up a photo of that so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so bright yellow orange, what that translates to is above 1500 degrees. Okay, And that gives you more time outside the forge to hammer on it as it approaches cherry red, cherry red being too cold, and needs to go back in the forge. Okay, So nice and hot, as hot as you can get it without turning it into molten metal or a 4th of July sparkler, because as metal heats up and gets the white hot, it will start to spark out especially in cold forges. You don't want that. Uh, so get it nice and hot, that bright yellow orange, and that's going to give you the most time to work it. So in classes that I teach, uh, an eighth, in, or excuse me, a three eighths inch thick piece of steel that's heated up to bright yellow orange will stay hot for about 10 seconds. So I do my work, my heat in 10 seconds, and that seems very short, but you always got to remember you got another heat coming after that. So about 10 seconds per heat, maybe 15, put it back in, get more heat on it. And remember always that this is more of a marathon activity than it is a sprint. You got to have patience to do this. Uh, if you were to work that same piece at more like red orange or cherry red, dropping it down to 800 to 1000 degrees, somewhere in there, uh, you're going to have just a few seconds to do not much of anything because that, that uh, metal is just not pliable enough, not wiggly enough, if you will, not enough like taffy to really do much damage. So get it nice and hot. Uh, you got you to get those burners going. If you're using a coal forge, get that blower going up through it, but monitor it so you know, know how hot you're going and you don't go too high. Okay, so your happy range, bright yellow orange, and back in the old old days when blacksmiths were doing this, you know, every town across across the world, which would be very common, right? Uh, what they would do is they would rely on that that color temperature, right? Because they didn't have fancy heat gauges and, and things like that to rely on. So they just had to test things out. So as you're doing this, if you want to test it out. You're welcome to heat something up to cherry red, say in a bonfire sometime, get it up to cherry red, then beat on it, see what that feels like. Then get it up even hotter by applying some, some air to it. Get it up to that orange color, beat on that. Get it up even hotter than that, beat on that. You'll be able to feel the differences between all of those different temperatures and how easy it is to work. All right, so that's a bit about uh, forging temperature and color. Uh, last thing I'll say about it uh, is carbon steel typically needs to be worked much hotter than mild steel because of the higher carbon content. So in the in the axe classes we teach, we teach a few every year, uh, we invite people to come back in and make uh, tomahawks or hand hatchets or things like that. Uh, the type of steel we use has so much carbon in it because we want it to be really tough to you know, take that impact while you're chopping through stuff, we need to get that really hot. So even even hotter than that bright yellow orange, we're talking yellow yellow. Uh, Got to get that real hot just because of the carbon content in it. With mild steel, it's not as important. Um, it'll it's still pretty pliable at lower temperatures. So uh, keep that in the back of your mind as you work in different steels. Thanks. Got some metal pieces gradually cooling down over here. Just to give you an idea of the temperature color that we want inside that forge. It's almost too bright to show up on the camera, but it's a bright yellow orange color. 